everybody so today I'm gonna show you guys how to um, cut your dogs and your cats nails so I've been a groomer for over 12 years now and I'm gonna show you some tools here come here Tallulah so this is my dog Tallulah come on. you can kind of see her so we're here on the ground so we can do this and it's easier easier to do especially for bigger dogs so if you have a big dog like Tallulah you can have them laid down and she's usually a really good girl to just lay there and let me trim her nails right now she's really excited because I just got home <laughs> so I'm gonna try to give you guys the best angle and um, let's see if she can calm her down a little bit so if your dog's really really excited or they just don't want their feet touched you want to grab a blanket <clears throat> to help control them and comfort them and just kind of wrap them so you can um, control their their whole body movement you might need some help if you got a, a large dog so you might want to have like two or three people because it can be really strong so just kind of tighten them up like a burrito best way you can and then you can just have one of the paws out, the one that you're going to be using. So, Tallulah is usually really good. Like I said, she's just super excited right now. Okay, shh, relax, relax. You might just have to take a few minutes, just kind of calm her down. Okay. Um, you can also use treats to help encourage them to just relax. Come here. Gotta try to get her to turn around here. <laughs> okay, girl. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Okay. See if you can see her here. So as she's gonna calm down, I'm gonna show you a couple things you're gonna need. So you can get any nail clippers such as these. Try to get one with a little safety guard here. Then it opens up. And then this here too is just to help. Um, it's like a guard as well. See how it kind of moves? So as you're clipping the nails, it's gonna uh, create like a little barrier as you're trimming them. See that? Okay. Um, and then also we have the Steptic powder. This is like a really old one because I've had this for years and I hardly ever use it. And it's like got this yellow powder in there. You see that? It's almost like a cornstarch feeling. But you can see that. So this is to help prevent uh, bleeding. If you happen to just over trim the nail. Um, and if that does happen, you just grab a little bit and you just apply it to their nail here. So you just keep putting some in there and it'll stop the bleeding. So it's good to have on hand if you're gonna be trimming nails. Another tool is, I love this nail filer. See here, and I got this on Amazon. It's really cheap, but it does the job. It has a little cap on it so you can take it off for larger dogs. And it's got a good speed there and it's rechargeable. So this is good for, for um, taking off the sharp edges. Now real quick, as Tallulah's still calming down. <laughs> I'm gonna give you an example of what a nail can look like. So it's, I know it's kind of hard to see, but, um, so I got a veggie chip here, just to kind of show you an example. Cause usually the nails, they have this kind of curve and this um, space in here, just think of it like the, the nerve, cause there's a nerve in each nail. Now when we're trimming, I'm gonna give you a technique that a lot of groomers do not use they tend to just kind of clip straight into the nail and that tends to cause um, over trimming and then you're um, you have you have a higher chance of clipping that nerve and then causing a lot of bleeding <clears throat> now um, the technique I'm going to show you is we're never going to go straight into the nail like this okay we're going to trim around the nerve so you're gonna clip the ends I don't know if you could kind of see there but you're clipping around the nail here see how it's kind of 
chipping away at it. So we're never going like this into the nail. Do not do that, okay? So just kind of go around until you start to expose the nail. Just going around, around and around until you see the nerve. And sometimes the nerve might protrude out a little bit and that's okay, as long as you don't clip it. So once you get it as far back as you can, you don't. You could take your time, just kind of keep going around it. And um, once you get to that nerve end where you can't go anymore, that's okay. Um, it's gonna help the pet's nerve retract back when they start playing um, on the ground. You know, that's one natural way for them to file their nails down is on concrete. You know, play with them outside and throw a ball and that's gonna help file the nail down and kind of help it to retract. Um, so that's the example there. Now there's a couple sizes too on these. So this is actually for a smaller dog or even a cat. Um, so like medium to small size dogs. This is a larger one. So I use this one on her. So here on this, on, her, on this nail, some dogs are gonna have black nails. Like she has both. She has a black nail here and she's got like a white one. And the white one, you can kind of see the nerve. And those white ones are a little easier, but you can see it's like slightly pink in there. That's her nerve. And let me see here. So you can, so she doesn't have her nails too long because I trimmed them already. Um, so I'm going to take this little tip and just clip it. And I'm going around like how I showed you. And that, that nail is basically already done. Same thing. So notice I did not go in here. I did not go straight onto the nail. You always kind of go around, just clip around it. Um, the other thing you can do is if you notice, I'm using these two fingers here to hold her nail. And I'm also creating a barrier as to how far I'm going to cut. So like here, I'm just going to cut this little end here. I know it's really hard to see but it's just a small tip on on the tip of her nail here. So I'm going to create that guard so that my fingers are protecting her the rest of her nail so I don't cut her. So I don't overcut the the nail. So see it's very little that I take off on her. Okay, so that's one paw and <laughs> She's doing so good for me, see? <laughs> She's like, Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't get excited. Okay, so let's do a front paw. We're just trimming around. Now, let's just say I did cut the dog. You can grab your powder and just have it ready here. Just grab that little bit and you're just going to press on it and just kind of hold on there. Now the main nail that you always want to focus on and never forget is the dew claw. That's the little, like their thumb. You know, some dogs might have a double dew claw. They'll have like two nails in here. Um, this one hardly ever touches the ground. So this is the one you always wanna keep an eye on. These might look short sometimes to you, but if you don't pay attention to this one here, this is the one that can really curl around and it can start embedding into their, their paws. And it can cause infection and um, you might have to take them to the vet too get stitches on there if it's really bad. Um, and so she's doing really good. I know not everyone's dog is like this, but I'm just showing you an example as to what it what it takes. Okay. One thing about nail filers is they go in one direction. So
some will reverse, but just pay attention to the direction that it turns, and that's the way you want to um, rotate your, your nail trimmer. Because if you kind of go reverse, it gets a little bumpy, and it might, like, feel a little weird to the dog. So just turn yours on. And you're just taking off all the sharp edges. So this is going to help save your couches and your legs. Because if you have a lap dog that likes to be with you, you're going to scratch you up. And you can feel it. It feels a lot smoother. And then right here, I can feel like some sharp edges here. I recommend getting a, a really good um, nail crawler. I wouldn't get like those, um, like, so this tip here, I believe it's like, um, what is it, stainless or like a metal. If you get those like replaceable, like, um, they're like sandpaper. Those are really cheap and they just, they go out right away. So I recommend getting one like this where you can just replace this whole bit. So you just keep doing this, go all the way around, do all the nails, and you know, um, if you want to have a dog to get used to this, just kind of encourage them with um, some treats, you know, give them maybe a chew toy that they might like, and they could just kind of lay there. Um, some peanut butter will distract them too. So pretty much she's done. I'm telling you, a good girl. She just likes a lot of love and kisses, huh? Well, there's such thing as cat nail trimmers. These are good too for puppies. You know, it just, um, you can even use um, your regular nail clippers um, because their nails are so thin. Hold on, she's camera shy. Okay. <laughs> so you kind of just press on it. See how the claw just retracts, I mean, um, extends out. <clears throat> See, so they go in naturally and then you just kind of press on them and they pop out. To grab them by the scruff, I know it kind of seems harsh to some people, but their mothers would hold them up on their neck here. So this is the easiest way to control a cat. Trust me, you do not want to get scratched or bitten by a cat. <laughs> so, same thing, you wrap them in a blanket or a towel. They even have uh, cat muzzles where you can, it kind of covers their, their eyes because sometimes it's easier for them to just not see. I usually don't cut her nails this way. She, she'll she usually just let me do it, but just showing you as an example what you can do with your cat. Just burrito them. Look at her, so cute. Ooh, she's a baby. <laughs> Pop a hand out or paw, I mean. See, so it's easier to control. You might need someone to help you. Okay, so don't forget they have dew claws too. So you could kind of see it hang out. So here's the same nail trimmers. So these are easier. No, there's no need to go around, you know, and taking your time like you did with the dog, but um, it's just, just take the, the tip off on cats. You don't want to spend too much time. So where I'm stopping, obviously is right, right before the, the nerve. Cause I can see it. The way the nail um, grows too, you, you see like that curve. You want to stop right where the curve's at. It's been a long time since I've done her nails, but so she's fighting me for it. Okay. Do you have to disinfect your clippers after you use them on your jaw? You're just asking for a friend. <laughs> of course, you want to disinfect anything. And I will find my um, disinfectant for you. So you can always use alcohol um, and just kind of wipe it down between uh, pets. Good girl, Penny. I know you're going to go hide again after this, huh? Okay, so back legs. So you kind of just tuck in those. 
over this way they like to hide so you kind of just hide them they feel like they're burrowing in and you could just pull their back legs out and kind of just tuck them in here and they like to you can it's easier to hold their little head and then with the legs you never want to pull them up and out because that's just not how their bodies move you can always go back you can you can go forward, but I don't recommend it because it just makes it an awkward position. So back legs, you always want to just pick them up this way. It's easier to see. And then right now, I'm kind of having to put a little pressure on her neck just to kind of keep her from running. <clears throat> now, let's say someone's helping you. The way to hold a, an animal, whether it's a dog or a cat, you, you want to hold the front legs like this. So, see, I have my hand here, putting one finger here, my thumb here. And then with your arm, you want to restrain their neck because you don't want them to turn and bite someone. So you want to control the neck and the legs. So you always hold this way, okay? And then so whoever's cutting the nails, it's easy for them to just grab the, the paws from down here without getting bit. Same thing they can grab from here because you're the one in charge to restrain the dog. So you're holding it up against you. This arm is just applying pressure to hold them, hug them, make them feel secure. <clears throat> okay, back leg. So same thing, I'm just pushing on the paw and the nail pops out. And she doesn't have dew claws on the back. Um, some, ca some cats might. And um, if usually if they're outdoors, they probably don't really need their nails trimmed because they're always scratching on things. But if, especially if they're indoors, their nails are going to get really long. And then they, they will file down their own nails if you have one of those cat scratchers or something. Okay, so she's done. I know, cutie. Can you get the bean? Good. And that's how you do dog and cat nails. Oh, the disinfectant, um, Clipper Cool. I guess this stuff's like beat up right now. So it will cool and lubricate and it even cleans your clippers, which if you do like, so these are the clippers. When you're grooming your dogs, you clean with, you spray it on here and just wipe it off. You can let it set in for a little bit, um, but you can even just apply a little bit on like a cotton ball. You can just clean your clippers that way. And it lubricates it, so it'll prevent it from getting stuck, you know. My business name, so right now, um, this grooming one is, is called The Backyard Groomer. And um, we're going to try to convert this grooming page to Zoomy. So at some point, the name might change. And I'll be sure to inform you guys about that. Well, if you guys have any more questions or want to know... Anything else on how to groom your pet at home, feel free to ask me on Instagram and Facebook. And I offer pet transportation in Las Vegas, Nevada, mainly in Henderson. Who need help in transporting their pets to either the vet, a groomer's, um, a daycare, wherever they need to be. You know, I know um, there's some people that maybe they don't have a vehicle or they're elderly or they don't have that extra help. All my information at zoomiespet.com. That's Z-O-O-M-E-Z. -E <laughs> but other than that, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate.